Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It actually is going to be a promo Friday today in FIFA 23, but it's not exactly a promo. And I want to talk about what I mean in saying that because we do not have a loading screen, but EA themselves actually confirmed yesterday in a screenshot on the web app and companion app that there is a small promo coming today. And it's one that we've seen before, especially last year in FIFA 22, at least this type of promo. There's some new packs that have been added to the code. And there's a little bit of confusion on what EA is saying when they mean that the out of position cards are going to continue in the game through the whole year. Yes, you heard that correctly. We're going to break that down and more in today's video. And we have big road to the knockout upgrades coming today and a lot of market movements that I'm expecting with a solo promo Friday still. A lot of what we talked about in yesterday's video, as you can see, I don't have a lot of coins. I've invested in some cards because I feel like the market's going to go up in some areas with the content being a little bit slower than a normal promo Friday. So we're going to talk about a lot of stuff in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's dive right in to what I am speaking about with this promo. Just again, to double check. All right, things are working as planned. Last video in London, by the way, I'll be back in the States, back home um, late today on Friday. So no streaming in today, but we're back today, later in the day. Anyways, um, this is the screenshot that was on the companion app. And as you can see, it is very detailed about out of position cards. This promo is ending today, right? on. FIFA, it says these cards will be out of packs today at 6 p.m. But this screenshot says that they will continue to be released for the duration of Foot 23 as an ongoing player program. So the out of position promo and this card design and these cards are going to continue to be released inside of FIFA 23 all year long via objectives, SBCs, and they do say through packs. So Basically, these cards are just going to randomly come out is what it sounds like throughout the whole rest of the year, which I mean, the, the concept of this promo, I think we're all a fan of because it gives us cool cards that we wouldn't be able to use in a certain or we were able to use them in a new way, in a way that we probably never figured was possible, right? Taylor Hernandez, left wing, Reese James, striker, doom free center back. There's some cool cards. Not all of them are super insane, but there's been some really neat cards that have been released with this promo design, and I'm a fan of it. And what EA is saying here again is that these cards will be like it's, it sounds like they're going to be kind of dropped in throughout the year with this kind of out of position style and card design and upgrade so that's the basis to know i do not believe whatsoever that what this is saying is that there are going to be out of position cards in packs all year long these cards right here are still going out of packs today at 6 p.m uk there's been a little bit of panic selling on them because i believe people think that these cards are going to still be in packs and i think that's where the confusion is right now as you see some of these out of position cards are down in price Cancelo, who i bought at 560k thinking it was a great deal actually went down to like 540 he's now 550 Teo hernandez is down fofana's under 100 reese james and fred these cards dropping with a little bit of pack supply and a little bit of panic yesterday are looking really good for me for a quick out of packs rise because these cards are hyped people like them they're different they're cool and um we don't have a real promo coming this weekend. So that's the first thing I wanted to discuss was the out of position cards, which they do say at the bottom here. This, this is where it gets interesting and I'm a little bit unsure. It says here at the bottom, watch out for an out of position SBC player in the FIFA World Cup warm up series starting tomorrow. To me, that means we are getting one out of position SBC player today on Friday because they posted this yesterday on Thursday. So we're going to get another out of position player. But who is that? Because we do not have any leaks right now. Um, you know, that this is where it's confusing, right? It says tomorrow at the very end. Does that mean we're getting an out of position SBC player today on Friday? Or I'm going to resend what I said just a second ago. Does this mean we're getting the SBC today? Like when they posted this yesterday saying tomorrow? Or does it mean the World Cup warm-up series starts today, which we do believe that it does, and there's going to be another out-of-position SPC player inside of this next week's promo? See what I'm saying? I think it's the second one, right? Now that I read it again, I really think what this is saying is there's going to be another out-of-position SPC player released during the promo that starts today on Friday. And again, this screenshot also confirms that the World Cup warm-up series promo is starting today and that's what i want to dive into next is 
what is the World Cup warm-up series? There's not a card design for the World Cup warm-up, but you guys, I'm sure, will remember this loading screen from last year, or we had a team of the season warm-up series last year in FIFA 22. Basically, we know what these warm-up promos are now, because they did them a lot in FIFA 22. Basically, what it is, is we are going to be given objectives and SBCs, and maybe a pack or two to go and get, that will be stuff that we can save up for the World Cup promos that are coming. And a lot of times we did this through objectives. I, I'm sure you guys remember, there was a lot of objective content that was released during that time uh, of last year when they would drop these warm up series promos. Uh, it's a lot of objective and SPC based content and there's usually not any cards that are actually impacts for us to attain. And it's a slower week of content, but again, Team of the Year warm-up series comes right before Team of the Year. Team of the Season warm-up series right before Team of the Season. The World Cup promo warm-up series coming before a massive World Cup promo with all sorts of promos going to be released over the course of the World Cup. That's what I think starting today on Friday is actually going to end up being. It's going to end up being a slow week and then EA is going to ramp it up. And I mean, the last couple weeks of content on foot have been just okay. I feel like it hasn't been super duper insane. Um, yes, we've seen the market drop off a bit. Yes, the out of positions promo is cool. Rule Breakers wasn't that great. But I think this World Cup promo is going to be really, really insane from all the stuff that we have and, and how it looks. It is going to be nuts. So this is like the last week before all the madness hits. Now, with this promo, what are some of the packs we're going to be grinding for? They have been added to the code. There are a bunch of these packs like France, England, Germany player pack. It contains an 83 rated player from France, England, or Germany. You can see that, again, these cards here on the left side, the new ones, it says added. Ignore the ones that are on the right. They don't matter. The ones on the left are the ones that matter. There's an 80 plus team league player pack. For Team of the Leaks 1 through 7, which we would get next week during the, the week. And then, of course, there's this France, England, Germany, 83 plus. There are more of them. There's a Brazil, Argentina, Spain, 83 plus. And then there's a bunch of other untradeable packs that have been added untradeable Rare Electrum, untradeable Premium, pre Prime Electrum, like a bunch of these, right? It's just a bunch of untradeable packs that have been added to the code and these 83 plus nation specific packs. And what it really seems like is EA is grouping these nations by their region, right? You've got the Europe region with France, England, and Germany, and you've got, I mean, Spain is thrown in there with uh, Argentina and Brazil, but yeah, I don't know. So maybe it's not necessarily like a region, um, but they're just kind of putting together these packs that I guess we're supposed to save up for whatever promo will be coming a week from now, next Friday for the start of the World Cup. So that is what is interesting about this warm-up series that we're expecting today. Again, as we know from the last year's warm-up series and stuff like that, it's all SBC and objective content. And really, I even think that they put this in the text on like the promo screen and in the, basically what they're trying to convey is, hey, there's not gonna be cards in packs this week, so you should save your packs and do these objectives and SBCs to save more packs to open when a bunch of other stuff comes out. So that's gonna be the trend for this next week. I mean, it might be a decent time to try to save some packs. Like if you did marquee matchups, or if you're going to do marquee matchups, maybe you save those packs, or maybe your weekend league rewards this weekend. If you haven't done any of these other one-off SBCs in here, they give you a pack. Maybe it's worth saving because there's going to be after today a content. Again, you can see here on the on the screen here on the side, it says if it loads for me, it's not going to load. But you know, these out of position promo players are going out of packs today. It says it on the loading screen, right? They are going to be out of packs today at 6 p.m. So they're gone. So it's really just a saving pack. Do your objectives, maybe catch up or just take a break from FIFA for a minute or two uh, before a big promo is going to be dropped. That's what a warm up series promo sounds like to me. But it does build the hype a little bit and it does get things, you know, stirring for a big World Cup type content so besides that there is some stuff i want to look at on the market today because if we're not going to have a big variety of content and new players coming into packs or anything like that what's going to happen on the game today well what i said yesterday about investing in some of these out of position cards i think is still very very accurate right if i had more coins i would probably be buying more cancelos right now because you know we have the zinchenko sbc and i mean if this card as basically the best midfielder in the game is dropping because of a Zinchenko card that is cheap, but like definitely nowhere near where that card uh, Cancelo is in game. And by the way, he has 3,100 
3,100 downvotes. I think that's a little bit too harsh. I mean, this card isn't insane. He's controlled. He can be explosive with three chemistry styles. He, I know he's 3-3. Three, three. He is high medium work rates, lean body type. And, you know, the pace split there is not very good. He's all acceleration, no sprint speed. It's just an okay card. But I feel like for the price of being only like 60K and even cheaper than that, if you can craft him, I mean, I don't think that's terrible. Although it is an Arsenal player, so... I'll leave that where it is. But, you know, I think that if that's making Cancelo drop, that's a kind of a dumb reason. And I think Cancelo is a really, really good buy because he's been 570 to 600,000 coins like the entire last couple of days. Yesterday, he was 580. He peaked at 595 like he usually did. He went down to 545, right? I bought a little bit too early. I bought it at 562. Um, right before marquee matchups dropped yesterday because marquee matchups did drop the packs weren't that great But I went out. I'm being super transparent, right? I picked up Cancelo at 562. I picked up some Reese James at 139 to 140. I know I didn't get the best prices But I got solid prices. I picked up some pairs as well like 135 to 137 and I'm happy with those buys because I really think that these players and how kind of cool they are and how people like this promo and it's it's the most recent promo and they're going out of packs I really do think that these cards do have potential to rise over the weekend it might be a one to five day hold and I know that some people right now are like Nate why are you buying cards when this promo is really starting to build hype for the World Cup content which we would imagine could potentially make the market crash and I understand that train of thought as well. And that's why I'm saying I'm not holding these cards for super duper long. But this weekend's probably going to end up feeling a bit slow on the game, right? We might have some decent SBC content, player of the month today. We've got road to the knockout upgrades that we're going to talk about in today's video as well. But I just feel like with the content this weekend being a bit slow, I think these are the cards that could rise up a decent amount in price. Um, and maybe some of your other out of pack special cards that somehow have fluctuated down and are maybe a little bit low as well. So that's why I'm invested there. Um, and I think those cards can rise up over the next couple of days. A, a short hold, if Reese James goes back up to 160, I'm happy. That's up 20,000 coins. And there's not there's 8K attacks. That'd be 12,000 coins a card. And what, I have like five of them? You know, if Cancelo can go back over 600K, which I do believe that he can do. I have six Reese James and four Perisic. Yeah, four Perisic, six Reese James and a Cancelo. So I'm happy with those investments there. I'm happy to sit on them and watch them rise throughout the weekend. Unless EA do something crazy, uh, that's honestly what should happen over the next couple of days as they go out of packs, in my opinion. So watch that side of the market today. And if you invested, um, I just don't sell you. Just let them rise. Honestly, that's what we can do because they go out of packs literally today. Now, what I also want to talk about today is other potential content that we could end up seeing on this game and one of those is the still we have the league of the Higuain and the Lewandowski now personally I feel like it would be a Lewandowski and I've been saying since the beginning of the week Thursday or Friday well here we are on Friday and no tweets from La Liga Fridays are usually days that we get a La Liga player of the month we just had the Premier League and the Bundesliga voting announced um I believe that those cards would be released probably next week um next friday maybe for uh premier league so we'll have to see but i think that this Lewandowski player of the month is going to be dropping today and if he's dropping today i'd be surprised if higuain did as well so i'm not entirely sure um and again we're still in question a bit on what it means for an out of position SBC player if that's coming today or just during the promo that's coming today we don't have any leaks so i'm guessing it's not today but who knows so at least one player SBC today, in my opinion, would be dropped. And I feel like Lewandowski has the highest percentage uh, of him being the content drop for today. Now, also, we got some massive RTTK upgrades that are going to be happening early today. Yeah, we're talking early. Like, I'm talking middle of the day UK time, early morning, early AM hours UK or US time, uh, whatever that translates to. I think it's maybe around like like 10 a.m. UK time or 11 a.m. UK time, I believe, is when these upgrades have been going live, somewhere around there. But this is the final upgrade day. Some guys are getting plus twos. Some guys are getting plus fours. We had a massive price spike in Moses Simon's card because they ended up winning their game uh, just a couple hours ago in, in the Europa League. And this card is going to get a double upgrade. So he not only goes from an 82 to an 84, but... A single upgrade on an 82 rated card goes to 84. Another single 84 upgrade goes to an 86. He's going to an 86 rated card today, guys. This guy is going to be saucy. But we have a Messi that's getting a plus two. Aubameyang gets the plus one, goes to 91. Muller gets his 90 rated card. Foden gets his upgrade today. Valverde, Sule, um, who else is getting upgraded? 
Konate plus one. Kulusevsky is getting a double upgrade for the wins and the advancement. Um, Mar Mar John Mario is getting a plus two. Goosen's plus two. Benatra is getting his plus three, right? 84 to 86, and then 86 to 87, double upgrade. Zambel and Guisa is going to go to an 87 today. Odegaard plus one. Terrier, Savio, Wambasaka. Um, the Moses Simon, massive upgrade. Jared Moreno is going to an 88. Paqueta is getting an extra plus one. And Akone is going to an 86. So, huge day of, of upgrades. L literally, so many of these cards are finally getting upgraded. It just feels like that it took so long to get them their extra plus ones at the end for these teams that maybe even qualified a couple weeks ago, like Phil Foden, right? He, he could have been an 89 a couple of weeks ago, but EA waited to give out the final upgrades for those teams that progressed to the knockout rounds um, until well after all those games were over. So, and, and confirmed, honestly. So that's a really big part of today as well. Watch out for these RTTK cards. Now, some of them could drop after the upgrade happens. Other ones could go up. It's really, it's gonna be on a per card basis. That's how it always is. Um, some of these guys are gonna be really hyped after they get a big upgrade um, and people are gonna wanna try them out. Other cards people have been holding on to for forever and they'll go down. So it's really on a case by case basis. Now the cards that are the most hyped, I can tell you right now, this Moses Simon is very, very hyped. His price went up crazy amounts. I mean, even this guy as an 86 rated card, you're getting probably what, plus three, four, five on every single stat on the card. He's gonna look insane. He might have maxed out pace. He might have 90 dribbling. 80 shooting, maybe 80 passing as well. This card's gonna look dirty. So like a card like this, if he keeps dropping lower before the upgrade today, I would get halfway interested in him and have a big time potential to flip that card because of the amount of hype that he has. But then looking through the rest of the team, like I know there's a lot of people that have invested in Ikone and in Zambo and Terrier and even Lukas Paqueta. Some of these guys, it, their upgrades have to be saucy, right? I really hope Lukas Paqueta gets plus two pace is that would make him go to 80 pace and his card would look so much better from a face stat um, degree. I'd be very happy about that. So that's what I would say and watch with these cards is that a lot of people have invested in like Jared Moreno. Uh, I invested one in like what, 20,000 coins? I'm holding, right? I'm not worried about him, you know, going to an 80 rated card and then going up. I'm gonna wait till SBC fodder goes up and then he's an 80 rated card and then he'll continue to go up. So that's what I'm thinking for the market today is watch out with the RTTKs. There should be some fluctuation. And this promo is gonna be a kind of a mid promo still, I think. So that's why I'm interested in the out of position cards for a bit of an investment too. Now watch the market today for supply on your inform. So if you're like trying out Bentencore or if you're trying out Osaman or if you're trying out um, Mane Team of the Week or something, keep a very close eye on these cards because again, we do have the tradable Team of the Week supply every single week like we do with the foot champs rewards being paid out. And these guys are gonna hit the market tradable today and they're absolutely gonna drop. So keep a very, very close eye on these. Um, I wouldn't be holding onto these for too long, but they could be a good trade today if there's a lot of selling before 6 p.m. content or the content drop today, um, because really your only supply from these today is going to be from those tradable team league packs from week and league rewards. But that's just kind of, kind of how I'm feeling today with the market. Let's take a look at fodder as well, which I'm presuming has not moved that much because as we said, the SBC for, um, you know, the new center mid who I'm forgetting his name, Zinchenko, is not that hype. So, you know, 85s are going down with supply, right? We wanted to sell those earlier on the week for sure. 84s are maybe up like 100, 200 coins a card, really no movement there on those. 87s are 17k, 88 to 22, 23. Actually, 88s and 89s are like up 1 to 2k a card. Just keep holding on to those. Same thing with in my Ben. I bought a Benzema and a Lewandowski, I think, like what, on the weekend for 43k a piece, and now it's 47 and 48. Like, W, just continue to hold on to those cards. And, you know, there still will be people, there's still potential. I think that if fodder drops at all this weekend, there's still a potential time to buy this stuff because if we get a big upgrade pack on Monday, I could see Monday as an opportunity that EA uses to really drain coins off the market with like another hero pack SBC or maybe another base icon sort of SBC or maybe just an 85 plus team of the week dropped again, who knows? I could see that sort of big gamble SBC content happening on Monday again um, and making prices go up on that SBC fodder sort of things. And when people are bored, they go and do SBCs. They, they make reasons and find reasons to go do SBCs, right? So maybe a Gary Medell, maybe 
Maybe it's Ross Barkley who's expiring soon. Maybe they're gonna do Chiesa right away before he goes away, that sort of thing. Uh, or the Zinchenko or the Icardi or whatever it may be. There's plenty of SBCs that are still out. When people are bored, they go and do SBCs, right? I, I mean, I do it too, I can't lie. So that's kind of what I'm feeling for the market today. I just feel like it's gonna end up being a day where, especially if you get on content today for 6 p.m., you might just be a little bit disappointed because apart from a Lewandowski player of the month, maybe we get two player SBCs today of some kind. That could be cool if we get a nice card, but those road to the knockout upgrades are gonna be probably the most popular thing to be thinking about and watching today uh, from an early on standpoint. And then after that, it really comes down to, okay, what packs are available via objective today? And is EA putting out anything that's actually really worth grinding for? That's the questions we're gonna have to ask today. And that's what we're gonna have to look out for on this game. But other than that, I'm, I'm not expecting a really, really crazy Friday. That's how these warm up uh, series promos go. They're just kind of quiet. Just go out, you grind a little bit, get it done. And hey, I'll be honest, you know, as a YouTuber, you're not supposed to say this, but if this is a time that you should maybe take a break, if you're a little bit even burnt out at this stage of the game of playing Ultimate Team, and you're like, man, I want to take a break, maybe take a couple days off before the World Cup comes out, do it. Like, take a quick break, don't get burnt out, and there will be FIFA content to come that is going to be absolutely insane. I absolutely know that for a fact. So, yeah, I think today's gonna be a bit of an L day, but we hold strong, we hold through, and there's gonna be still stuff to do. It just won't be as exciting as a normal Formal Friday, but the World Cup stuff is coming really, really soon, and that's something to get very, very excited for. And probably as we get towards the end of the weekend and into the beginning of next week, we'll start to see more market sell-off and a bit more selling as people fear the big time content and want to maybe get their coins ready. I think some people have already been doing that with some foot hero cards as well. Um, but just be careful with that side of the market this weekend um, as we get later on towards the beginning of next week. So that's going to be the video for, for me today. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.